Hello everybody and welcome back. Right, so today I'm going to be showing you the hidden router. Router. <laughs> they have sent me this out to test and I'm going to be brutally honest with it. If I don't like it, I'm going to be honest about it. If I like it, I'm going to be honest about it. And there's one main feature that this router, router, however you want to pronounce it, fair dues. <laughs> but it does have that one feature that I think a lot of people will benefit from. Right, and what I will say, if you think you may be interested in getting one of these, I will put the links in the description down below. The main thing I'm hoping this works with is Chromecast, purely because I'm trying to use a VPN on my device, but I can't connect such as my Chromecast to a device. I'm hoping connect them both to that, and then it works, but who knows? Let's see. <laughs> so that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and let's crack on. <laughs> Right, so I'm not going to go through a full unboxing of it, and it, it just takes forever, doesn't it? So when you open the box, you literally get what you get. So you get the power plug, we know. You get the Ethernet cable, we know. You get the plug for end at plug, we know. <laughs> the main bit we want to look at is the router itself, isn't it? So what we do, we just rip that bubble wrap like you do, and I used to love and get it me and just... Oh, oh. <laughs> Right, and you're going to see you've got the hidden router. And to be honest with you, it feels quite sturdy, to be honest. I thought it was going to be a bit dog shit. But I ain't even tested it yet. And on front there, you've got the on-off button and whatever the other button is. I don't even know. <laughs> and on the back, you see you've got the power cable and then you've got a WAN slot. So this is the one you put the Ethernet cable supplied into. So then you put that into your wireless router that's... From your internet service provider or whichever one you use the other two are LAN ports so they're just the ones where you want to connect such as a PC or a laptop and then obviously you've got a USB 3 port there as well and that's about it for what it looks like so that's a quick unboxing of it like I say I don't want to waste too much time with it on the table and just unpacking it so that's how I want to do it, it saves me a lot of hassle these tie things I hate them you, all, you start wrapping wrong way and you make it right tight and you can't get them off, but it's off. So I've got the Ethernet cable here and all I'm going to do is, like we said, connect that to the WAN cable, which is here next to the power port. And also one more important thing to note as well is it does come with a sheet of A4 paper. Nice. And on this sheet of paper, it's going to be literally some straightforward instructions. It's going to give you your username, your password, and it's literally meant to be plug and play. But also what I did ask them as well, can you change server? So if you're in the UK and you want to watch something region locked in the US, can you change server? They did say yes, it's quite easy. So all you have to do is comment on this video and they will be replying to people in this video because obviously they know a lot more than me and they can make it a lot more simple. All I want this for, I've got kids. My kids like watching films and things when they go to bed. They have fire sticks. So right, I'm going to go ahead, connect it up, and another thing to note as well, is you can connect to either one, so you can connect to your main internet service provider's internet. <laughs> I'm not very good at these reviews, am I? So say you're with Virgin Broadband, you can still connect to Virgin, or you can opt to connect to this with a VPN on. The only downside of this is it is pricey. And I will admit, it is, well, it has got quite a big price tag on it. Although they have just dropped the prices down just after Christmas. So for some people, it may benefit them and they may be able to afford it. For others, it may be a bit expensive. And that's just me being honest. So let's get into it and see how it performs. See if it kills me internet speeds. Yeah, let's crack on again. Right, so all we're going to do now is we're going to test the internet speed. So when I'm connected to the VPN and when I'm connected to my normal internet service providers router so this is the one using the hidden router so the one with the vpn built in so as you can see i'm getting 181 megabytes per second download and that's really good it's really it's that i'm not going to be affected if that's killed it by 20 30 megabytes whatsoever and the upload i usually get 11 and i'm well i've got 11 and the ping is really good as well so you could even use this for gaming and that as well. So I'm just going to switch over, connect the Ethernet to my normal router and see the speeds on that. Right, so now I'm connected to my normal router. And as you can see, I wasn't getting no ads when I was connected to the hidden router. And now I'm connected to my normal router and I'm getting a lot of ads. So I don't know if it does, but it's looking like it actually blocks ads as well which is a really good feature if it does. Right, so as you can see, I get 11 ping, which is half. 
I get 211 download speed, which is 30 megabytes per second more, and the upload sp upload what's upload? <laughs> the upload speed is pretty much the same. So do bear in mind if you are getting such as 50 megabyte download speed, it won't take such as 30 megabytes per second off you. It's like a percentage, and that is a very small percentage as well. And I'm quite happy with those speeds. But the one I do want to find out is does it work when you're casting because this is a very common question and we're going to find out. So that being said, let's jump over. Right then, so first of all what I'm going to do, I'm going to connect to the hidden router. So AC meant to be better than the N, so you've got the um, two frequencies, the 2.4 GHz and the 5 GHz and then you're going to enter your password. Right, so once you've entered your password you will get it on that A4 sheet of paper which shows you what comes in the box and we're going to click connect. It says connecting, and then jobs are good and we're connected on that. Don't know what's happening with focus there. I hate doing it on my phone. So I'm going to click on this, and then we're going to try casting it. Look at that for a dance. Cast in the top right, family room TV, connecting. And this is on the VPN as well, don't forget this is on the hidden router. So as you can see it does work. Well we'll see it launch first anyway. Look at that. Yeah, he's there. So now I'm just going to try it on a quick APK and then that's it. So as you can see at the moment, I'm just searching for sources. I'm just going to have to click on focus here. Just searching for sources on Cyberflix. And as soon as it starts casting a movie or a TV show, it's going to play straight away through that. So I'm going to click on the app. And where it usually says play, I'm going to click on cast. And then we'll see if it works. There you go. And it comes up like that on the phone. So that's it. You can actually do it on Chromecast. It works. Get in. A lot of people were asking about this. So you can connect your Chromecast and your device to that same wireless network and then you're good to go, it works. Right, so if we go onto the Hidden Routers website and we can go and look at a couple of different prices and I'm just going to give a complete summary of what I think of the device. So as you can see at the top there it says pricing, this link will be in the description down below. I struggle in saying in the description, in the description down below better <laughs> scroll that as i say it is quite a big price point but for a lot of people it will suit them for those it doesn't suit it doesn't suit but i do like how it works with such as chromecast and that and the speeds don't kill too much either so as you can see there it's got three gigabyte three gigabit external ports ethernet ports i can't read for shit <laughs> like i said it's got um, 2.4 gigahertz wi-fi and 5 gigahertz block ads and malware ability to block ads and we saw from doing the internet speed test that we weren't getting ads when we were connected to the router so i don't know if this is already built in once the device arrives all you need to do is connect it it's literally plug and play and it were i haven't had to go into any settings Although their support is brilliant, they do reply very, very fast. And like I say, any questions you do have, comment down below and they will reply to your comments with anything you want to know because they'll know a lot more than me about this. And like I say, changing servers and things like that. So as you can see, for one month service and the router itself, it's $199. And for a year's VPN service and the router, it's $289. And then to renew, I think it may be about $100 a year to have the VPN roll over. But you can connect any VPN to this that supports WireGuard. IP Vanish, unfortunately, at the moment doesn't. Although, if you're looking for software based, IP Vanish is awesome. But, like I said, this is actually giving you an internet signal, which I love. And then at the bottom there, you can say um, prepaid, non recurring. And then you can say you pick two years premium VPN subscription. As you can see, for two years, so a year is actually $89, which isn't a bad price at all, really. To say what you're getting, it does support WireGuard. That is a good price, it's just the router itself which is quite expensive. But even if you have got a router that does support VPNs through WireGuard, I would definitely recommend you going and looking at this service because it is awesome. Right everybody, I do love the router, I will admit. I do love how it works, I do love what it does. I love how it works with Chromecast and I love how it doesn't kill your internet speeds too much. And I do love the ease of how you can just connect any unlimited amount of devices to that router, you haven't got to mess about installing softwares for such as IP Vanish, Strong V. I know I keep saying them, but just in case they're the ones you use. But you haven't got to install these on all different devices. You're just going to connect to that one network. The only negative I can find at the moment with this is the price point. It is expensive. 
but it is what they want to charge, really. There's nothing we can say about prices. If it works for you, it works for you. If it's too expensive, think about getting a software base or a free VPN. You can find them everywhere. But like I say, for speeds, this is awesome. And having the two LAN ports as well, so you can connect such as a PC and a different kind of console or anything like that. I do think it's awesome. And like I say, when you connected the VPN, when it when it re oh, wow. And like I say, when the VPN does need renewing, $89 is not a bad price at all. I think it's just the initial where you've got to buy the router as well, which is expensive. But do comment down below and let me know what you think. If you already own one of these, let me know what you think, how your experience has been with it. Have you had problems with it? And let's just get commenting down below and let's let's interact and get ask them a lot of questions. If you are interested in buying one of these, make sure you ask a lot of questions first so they can cover everything you need to know because there's nothing worse than buying something and not knowing what it actually does so do bear in mind they will reply to comments down below so do do that and i hope this video has helped some of you i know some of you will be like mate what are you doing what are you doing videos like that for that shit it's not shit this will apply to a few people only a handful of people but it'll apply to somebody and that's what i do i like to help people yeah <laughs> right guys have a lovely weekend Hopefully get a lot more videos up to. Really, really busy. You can see bags under my eyes. So that being said, I'll see you soon. Tada.